what should you eat for the best results? It depends. Hi, this is me, Bonnie. In today's video, I'm going to share eight individual factors and how they impact your eating plan and results. Number one, oh, here's the eight factors. Um, body type, age, gender, existing habits, eating habits, training status, body composition, metabolism, and motivation. Body type. There's three main body types, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. So for the first one, ectomorph, this type tends to be thin and they have higher metabolisms. These are the people who seem to eat whatever they want. They still look skinny and it's very hard for them to gain weight and muscle. Think of a, a very skinny, long-limbed marathon runner. Now these folks usually also have a higher carb tolerance. Lucky them. Second one is a mesomorph. Now this type has a natural tendency to be fit and uh, muscular. They have an athletic muscular build. They're you know usually wider in the shoulders, narrow waist, uh, and these people can gain muscle and, and lose fat more easily than the other two types. And then lastly, endomorph. These people tend to have a more naturally broad and thicker, blocky bodies, and they may have muscle, but they also have more fat than the other two body types. So this is kind of like the stereotypical power lifter. And unfortunately, they have slower metabolisms and a much lower tolerance for carbs. Which body type are you? Go ahead, type it in the chat, let everyone know. Well, depending on which body type you are, you can see that an ectomorph might be able to get away with eating a lot more than, than a an endomorph who may have to work a lot harder to lose the fat. And if you're a mesomorph, it may be easier, but it doesn't mean you can get away with eating everything and doing nothing. So this difference in the body type that you have is one reason that explains why an eating plan may work for someone else, but not you. Or if you eat more carbs and you feel like you blow up. Depending on your type, you may have to do more cardio or you may not be able to eat as much carbs. Now, don't get discouraged if you're an endomorph and you want to lose fat, or if you're an ectomorph and you want to gain muscle. The good news is our bodies adapt to what we do to it, which means you can change your body type over time with your habits, your eating habits, and your exercise. All right, factor number two, age. As you get older, you may have noticed that what used to work for you when you were younger no longer works. Unfortunately, getting older does make it more difficult because your metabolism slows down as you age. And research shows that on average, individuals' resting metabolic rate declines 2 to 4% every 10 years after the age of 25. And on average, people always also lose 5 pounds of lean muscle every 10 years from the age of 25 to 65. And remember, muscle is your most metabolic active tissue, so as you get older, it's like a double whammy hit on your metabolism, you burn less calories, so you can't eat as many calories as you used to. Gender. Males are lucky. <laughs> they can lose fat faster and build muscle faster than women. In fact, they can lose fat two to three times faster than women can. So if you're working on your goals with a significant other, know that gender does play a role. And your existing eating habits. How bad are your eating habits? Or do you eat healthy most of the time but still don't know why you're not getting results? Or are you just eating whatever you want and you know you could be doing a lot better? There is an inverse relationship. Oop, there you go. Uh, there is an inverse relationship to how much effort you need to put in with how much room for improvement there is. So if you're eating horribly, and you know you're overeating, you can make healthier choices without the need to track calories, meal prep, or anything like that, and you'll still be able to see results. Now, if you are someone who is already eating healthy and watching what you eat, you know, you're, you're going to have to do a lot more than the person who is eating really horribly. It will require more planning than just eating healthier. You'll need a more structured plan. Now, here's someone who had a great physical transformation where he didn't change his activity level, which was running up hills. 
He started off with habits that were not so great, and he was able to see dramatic results with only simple changes in eating. He simply replaced some foods and drinks with healthier alternatives and drank less soda. He lost 28.6 pounds in three months and three weeks. So if you're eating pretty badly right now, I hope you're happy that it's possible to see changes starting out small. Otherwise, if you're already doing really well, then you need to kick it up a notch. What does your current activity and training level mean for results? Nutrition is key to fat and weight loss. The next factor that's most important is exercise. Now, if you exercise, you can eat more because, than if you don't exercise because the more you exercise, the more calories your body will burn. That's the obvious. So the more room for improvement you have in your training status, the more results you can see. If you add exercise, change the type of exercise or increase the intensity of your exercise. So for example, if you're not doing any exercise right now and you add a routine of resistance training, you'll see a huge improvement, more than the people who are, who are already working out. This is also known as beginner gains. Now, if you're already exercising and doing mainly cardio or light weights or just classes, then you will see results from adding a new challenging stimulus of moderate to heavy weight training especially compound lifting, like squat, bench, and deadlift, because those type of exercises work many body parts at once, and it's also the fastest way to build muscle and strength. Now, if you're already an intermediate advanced weightlifter, then you'll have less room for improvement than the people who are starting out. You may need to find other ways to increase your intensity. And body composition. So I'm going to show you, this is me at 140 pounds and me at 140 pounds. <laughs> but these are two very different bodies when it comes to percent of muscle and percent of fat. And these two different bodies should not have the same eating plan. Now, as I said earlier, your body needs more calories to maintain your muscle. So let's say I ate 2,300 calories on the right side to maintain. If I ate 2,300 calories on the left, I may gain more fat because my metabolism isn't as fast and I have less muscle. Now, this is just a super, super simple example, but my point is your body composition of how much lean muscle you have and how much fat you have will mean your body fat has different nutri nutrient requirements. Now, if you know about macros, macronutrients for sure, you know, protein, carbs, and fats, you may have heard of the 40-40-20 split, 40% protein, 40% carbs, 20% fat. Now, this is a very general guideline, but it's not customized for your body. So if that's what you're doing, there is room for improvement and results. Now, metabolism. You can have two people look the same and even weigh the same, but one can have a really slow metabolism and the other can have a really fast metabolism. So this is a no-brainer. One will be able to eat more than the other. Now it's worth mentioning that unfortunately there are a number of women especially who tend to have dieted for too long and they don't even realize they're not eating enough for their bodies. They're not getting enough nutrients and they end up slowing down their metabolism a lot. Now, in this situation, you actually have to eat more and not less to get back to a healthier amount of calories and metabolism before you can start losing uh, fat and weight again. So here is a woman who severely restricted herself with only 800 calories, who you know knew she had to get her metabolism back up to speed before she could even think about fat loss. And she went from skinny, fat, crabby, and exhausted her words, to never thinking she could be so strong at 52 and can't believe how much she's eating and losing solid pounds. Now, isn't that amazing to be able to see such a turnaround at the age of 52? So happy for her. And motivation. Motivation, here we go. How can you stay motivated and consistent? Now, I've found over and over again that even people who are highly motivated and have the right knowledge to get the body they want, some will succeed and some, some will still fail. Because other than the lack of knowledge, the number one reason why people fail is the lack of a strong emotional underlying reason for why they're motivated to get results. 
So even if you're the smartest person in the world, you won't get results without the motivation to keep doing the behaviors you need to do. Now what's interesting is that the part of our brain that gathers information is not the same part of our brain that controls our behavior. The behavior that would lead us to get our desired results. So that's why it's not enough to just know what to do or be smart. You need that strong emotional underlying reason for why you're motivated to get results. Now I'm going to get into that in a little bit later so you can think about your reason. But those were the eight factors. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Give me a like, subscribe, stay tuned. Upcoming topics, how to stay motivated, and really exciting news. I just hired one of the top IFB Pro bikini coaches. I am going to be switching from figure to bikini next year. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching brand new training that reveals how I've been able to transform my body over the years. You can register at eatnotdiet.com slash transform. On this free training, I'm going to cover how to lose weight and fat, transform your body, enjoy food, and truly live a healthy, powerful life where you're vibrating with energy and feeling like you can tackle anything that life throws your way. You can use these techniques to discover how to get that toned body by eating foods you love every single day, how to lose weight with out focusing on weight loss and even develop simple hacks for lifelong results despite lack of time. Heck, I'll even share how to avoid the single biggest mistake that every gym goer makes that causes every single diet to end in failure. You'll also learn why you don't have to give up the foods you love to reach your goals, how dieting literally almost killed me, why your thoughts and beliefs affect what happens to your body, how I'm able to eat what I want, when I want, and still stay in shape, why you should not focus on weight loss, the truth about cheat days, how to develop the mindset you need to get what you want, why lack of time or being too busy does not have to derail your progress, how to enjoy healthier foods, why restrictive diets aren't the answer, and much, much more. So register now and join me for the free training. Simply click the link somewhere on this page or go to eatnotdiet.com slash transform. All right, I hope to see you guys in the training and thanks for watching.